in this video we will be discussing about uh, troubleshooting of contract and um, verify the traffic between two endpoints through the contract so in the last video we discussed about the configuration of contract and how the contract was between two endpoints we'll follow the same topology so here i have a app server which is connected to leaf 101 using apg1 and web server connected to leaf 103 um, with epg2 and there's a contract app web contract where app is a consumer and web is a provider so let's go to the cli so i have a leaf 101 where uh, app server is connected so there is a command show zoning rule so this command gives uh, the details about the all the contract so let me just uh, walk over to walk to this command so this uh, first column you see that is a rule id and uh, in the second and third column you see second column is a source epg and uh, the third column is destination epg so basically this is a pc tag okay so how we'll how to look at the pc tag uh, uh, we'll discuss in some time and this is the filter id okay so whether it's a default filter or there is a, some specific traffic allowed between uh, uh, two endpoint there is a direction whether it's a unidirection bidirectional so in the contract in the subject uh, where we call the filter so there we configure whether it's a unidirectional bidirectional operation state enable scope will discuss about that then action whether it's a permit or deny okay so now i want to check the traffic uh, between the epg1 and epg2 so i need to know the source epg id and the destination epg id so what is the pc tag for the epg1 and the epg2 so there's there are certain way so the first way is uh, uh, we'll go to the gui we'll click on the epg1 go to policy general and uh, here you can look at for the pc tag which is 16386 so what i'll do i'll go to the cli show zoning rule and the show cpg as a 16386 now i need to show the destination epg so again i'll go back to the gui click on uh, epg2 policy general and uh, destination epg is a uh, 5481 so that's a pc tag so I'll go to the 5481 so I need to type the destination epg destination epg is a 5481 okay so the rule id which is created is a 4184 for the between epg1 and epg2 okay it's a bi-directional and the contract what we have here it is a app web contract okay now if i really need to see if there is a traffic is going between two endpoint through this contract the command is source system internal policy manager states and after the state you need to give the rule id the rule id was uh, 4184 okay so give the 4184 right now i do not have any traffic working between two endpoint but uh, if you want to see if there is a uh, traffic is going in your scenario you need to look at, at the packets the packets count should be non-zero and it should be increased so that actually verify your traffic is going between two endpoints the way to uh, verify so how, how do we verify basically um, the source epg and the destination epg so 16386 and 5481 that we find out uh, while looking at the pc tag in the gui but if i don't want to look at the uh, GUI then what you can do is you can go to the epic 
then you can do uh, ammo query minus e fp epg and then you can grab for the epg name so if you don't know the epg name uh, you can grab with the pc tiger okay. so we can look at for that our talent is a dc1 app dc epg1 and the pc tag is 1686 so using this uh, ammo query command you can uh, find out what is the pc tag for the specific epg and then uh, you can try with you can uh, use the command so zoning rule and then so system uh, internal policy manager state command to find out uh, the traffic between the two endpoints through the contact thank you for watching this video